Welcome to Ellie Goldsmiths Inspired for walking around busy central bus station Jerusalem and just trying to find that place of peace of mind. The new week began to allow ourselves to really find our flow today. And this is the key to everything we're doing in life. To really flow in a way that's healthy and balanced and real and facing ourselves. That's the big thing. You know, even on the modern day shows and things that people are watching on Netflix, all this kind of stuff, the, the real talented, deep processes that go through these kind of programs now is all about being real and facing oneself. The fake, superficial, you know, everything's great kind of false positive world is being pulled aside and the real vulnerable, raw, pain-filled place is where the real entertainment is at. And it's funny because like, why would you want to watch people being real and feeling pain? But that is the truth that you know, we all have that place within that needs us to be balanced and real. And we're going to resonate with other people that are doing that too. And that's something which I'm seeing more and more is what people are interested in. And not this like superficial pretend world of that kind of vibe. So I know, I know myself, like in a real way, that with my soulmate and with my journey of coming back to spirituality, I'm able to accomplish this. And I'm not letting things hold me back from doing that real journey. Like, I think that's the next stage of the world of just, like we spoke about emotional intelligence and vulnerability, like we have Brene Brown, we have other people talking about it. I think that's really where it's at. Like, I'm happy to be part of this real process. I really believe in it. And I want to do my thing to make it happen. And I want to share it online. I want to make it a unified experience because everybody is going to come to that place, that inner growth, that inner journey. That's where we're all going to grow. That's where we're all going to find happiness. And, you know, people are having anxiety attacks. People are having kinds of emotional challenges. Like a company just disappeared in Israel that was like hundreds of people I know working there. I'm sure it's traumatic for the people involved who've given years up. I thankfully left a few years in advance. I had a feeling I needed to move on to a job, a management job in Jerusalem, and that led me to booking artists and all the different other things I'm involved with, the consultancy. I just felt like I, was, I had a bigger calling than the corporate world, but suddenly the corporate world just pulled the rug on 200 people. Thank God a few of my friends there already managed to position themselves elsewhere, but... I'm sure there's a, a, almost a few hundred still looking and I'm seeing them online and I feel for them, you know, I'm sure it's created anxiety. Me personally, like being in a transition time right now, it's giving me opportunity to really find my voice and that is one of the eighth habits of Stephen Covey. I feel that just finding your voice to be able to service others, that's what I want to do, that's really, and to be, sometimes you've got to quiet an existing job or an existing manager or boss their voice so you can find your voice and really do what you believe in so I'm doing that and I want to hear from other people I feel like this universal unified share of journey and growth that's what's going to bring us to really be what we're supposed to be so I want to hear from everybody around and around like share this message and bring me back to your, what you're going through. Um, it can be like an email, it can be a text, it can be your podcast, it can be someone you related to that spoke out this kind of message. And then that strengthens the community of real growth. And on an inner level, even if I don't hear from you directly, that's happening anyway. And I believe in it. And I'm experiencing it, my wife's experiencing it, my soulmate and my kids and we're going on a real journey it's just undoing the things we get bound up by the slavery and the freedom that real growth and real inner journey brings looking forward to here have a beautiful week